Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Greg Glover and I'm Cindy Sexton. Tonight, the Tennessee Department of Education held meetings to talk about schools that are struggling to meet student needs. Parents and educators got the chance to voice their concerns and share their ideas on what the county's priority schools need to improve. Channel 3's Jake Chapman explains. Well, Cindy, a variety of topics were discussed tonight from testing to after school programs and also bullying. Christina Cosme says her children attend both Orchard Knob Elementary and Brainerd High School. She tells me the policy surrounding bullying needs to change. It makes it easier, even anonymous, as long as the student's name who have been bullying a child are actually given to the right people so that they can handle it the right way and the right thing is done to those students to make sure that they don't do it to anyone else. Christina Cosma says her daughter has seen several bullying incidents at her school. She believes parents and teachers need to be more involved. For the students to know that this was going on, I feel like somehow the teacher's hands had to be tied or felt somewhat that they couldn't do more for this child. At a listening tour Monday night, parents, teachers, and elected officials voiced their suggestions on what the schools could improve on. Education is very personal, and so when you have parents and students talking about their schools and their teachers, uh, they want to continue what seems to be working in those places. Parents shared ideas like less testing or more after school programs. Eve Carney with the Department of Education says all problems are important. If there's something that needs to be said that they feel like they didn't get to be heard, I want to hear from them. So hopefully we will get that opportunity. Carney wants parents and teachers to know the department's goal is to help all children. And we want to support them in every aspect, and that's what we will continue to do through uh, supports on planning, on implementation, grant dollars, as well as additional supports from all of the teams across the department. Carney says tomorrow's meeting will be in Davidson County at the same time. She says they plan to take all feedback given at these meetings and help improve our priority schools. In the studio, Jake Chapman, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Thanks, Jake.